Hello and welcome to DVTV's Monday Sports Broadcast, the final broadcast of the 2006-2007 school year. I'm Brigetta Hoffner. And I'm Courtney Bowman. Tonight we'll tell you how men's golf fared in the NCAA championship and give you a preview of track's upcoming championship meet. But first, some big news about Bruin baseball. The UCLA baseball team is advancing to the NCAA Super Regionals for the first time since 2000. Reporter Josh Lemer takes a look at the team's impressive sweep of regional play this past weekend. The second-seeded UCLA baseball team entered this weekend's NCAA Tournament Regionals in Long Beach looking for wins that would advance them to the team's first Super Regional since 2000. After downing Pepperdine 7-3 on Friday, the Bruins took on the Illinois-Chicago Flames in the winner's bracket game on Saturday. Starting pitcher Gavin Brooks led the Bruins to victory against the Flames, allowing only two hits en route to throwing his second complete game of the season. Illinois-Chicago scored first on junior second baseman Alden Carrither's low throw to first base in the first inning. But UCLA's offense rallied to support Brooks' impressive pitching performance when the Bruins roared back in the fourth with RBIs from senior left fielder Will Pennyall, freshman center fielder Justin Uribe, and sophomore catcher Ryan Babinoff. UCLA held the Flames for the rest of the game and got the 3-1 win. After the victory, Babinoff praised Brooks' performance. Can't say enough about Gavin Brooks his performance of being a freshman. It was a complete game in a regional setting. I mean, I, I can't say enough about his performance. He just did an unbelievable job. UCLA coach John Savage also took the time to commend his freshman pitcher. Gavin uh, showed maturity beyond his years, and um, it's good to, to win that second game. With the win on Saturday, the Bruins advanced to the winner's bracket game against the Long Beach State Dirtbags on Sunday evening, knowing they were just one victory away from reaching the Super Regionals. Sophomore Southpaw Tim Murphy got the start and struggled in the first few innings. He allowed two walks and two hits in the first inning that helped Long Beach State put three runs on the board right off the bat. But the Bruins worked their way back into the game with an impressive all-around team effort. Uribe woke up the Bruin bats in the third inning with a leadoff double. Sophomore left fielder Brady Dolan backed him up with a single, and sophomore third baseman Jermaine Curtis and Carrithers RBI'd to bring them home. But the Bruins' biggest inning was their four-run fifth, which began with Curtis's leadoff home run, and was followed by hits from Carrithers and freshman right fielder Gabe Cohen, as well as an RBI sack fly from senior first baseman Tim Stewart. After sophomore designated hitter Cody Decker added an insurance run with an RBI single in the sixth, Neither team scored again, and it was all over for the Dirtbags. UCLA went on to win the regional final 7-4. Instrumental in the win was Murphy, who started shaky but improved during his complete game, not allowing Long Beach State any runs after the third inning. Uh, command was a little off, uh, kind of rushing through delivery, mechanical stuff like that, but I mean, you can't think of that when you're on the mound. You just got to go out and compete and uh, just correct it, and I just went back and focused on one pitch at a time. You know? Also key for the Bruins was third baseman Curtis, who hit a home run and it was named MVP of the region. I just believe that we could win this regional, and um, like Murph said, we're just going at it one pitch at a time and one inning at a time. And you know, um, yeah, we did struggle at the beginning, but you know, um, the bigger picture is it's nine innings. The Bruins next face Cal State Fullerton in the Super Regionals this weekend. For Daily Bruin TV, this is Josh Lieber. Next up for the Bruins is a three-game Super Regional Series against perennial powerhouse Cal State Fullerton this weekend. And UCLA has something to prove as the Titans took two of three from the Bruins during the regular season. On Saturday, golf competitors played on the Golden Horseshoe Gold Course in Williamsburg, Virginia for the 110th NCAA Men's Golf Championship. The Bruins, who are ranked fourth, finished seventh in the tournament. Over the past five years, the Bruins have made it into the top 10 three other times. The Bruins received top 25 honors individually, junior Kevin Chappelle and sophomore Lucas Lee. The UCLA track and field team is still gearing up for this week's NCAA championships in Sacramento. On May 29th, the qualifiers were announced for the competition. UCLA is sending eight members of the seventh ranked men's track team including standout hurdler Brandon Johnson, as well as Greg Garza, who is currently the top-ranked thrower for the discus competition. In addition to this impressive roster, the women's track team will also be sending their best, including Maris Wisdom, Nicole Leach, Mackenzie Hill, Jacqueline Nguyen, and Ingram Cantola. Also going to Sacramento this week will be Rhonda Watkins and Renee Williams, 
two top competitors under the training of recently named West Region Women's Jumps Coach of the Year, Mike Powell. We'll see if this accomplished crew can bring home another NCAA championship for the Bruins. That's all the Bruins sports news we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in this evening and over the course of the past quarter. Daily Bruin TV's weekly news and sports broadcasts will return in the fall, so be sure to check the Daily Bruin website at the beginning of the 2007-2008 school year. Thanks for watching and have a great summer.